I've been waiting all winter for this. Downward they plunge. Comets of color splash landing in Nebraska's woodlots, pastures, marshes, and suburbs. Our feeders are loaded and ready. Fuel for the work to be done. Nest building, egg laying, incubation, fledging, offense, defense, and then gone again. All in just a few weeks time. They're all here now though. Goldfinches, robins, and red-headed woodpeckers. Even the catbird lifts its wings for a moment to reveal perfection. Not one feather too many, or too few. And though you may not recognize them, those aerial acrobats in your favorite forest aren't strangers. They're most likely the same old friends from last year, and the year before. And many have just flown in from South America. Ever wonder how they do it? We haven't got a clue. Oh sure, we understand that long-lived birds like cranes learn landmarks along their migratory routes from their parents, and that other species find their way using the angle of the sun or the stars or the Earth's magnetic field, but that's about it. Though we've studied them for decades, the astounding precision of bird migration is still fundamentally mysterious and unknown. Take many warblers, for example. Biologists think they may have a celestial chart in their heads to navigate by. Actually make that too, a double map, because the stars are different in spring than in fall. And don't forget that directions for a bird headed to a specific point in Arkansas are different for one headed to Nebraska. And then there's the cliff swallow. At the end of the nesting season, at just eight weeks old, they pick up and fly on their own to an exact spot in Argentina, thousands of miles away. Those little rocket ships dashing around our backyards, no more than we can possibly fathom. So when they serenade us at sunrise, their ancient calls resonate far beyond attracting mates and defending territories. That's actually the voice of wilderness you're hearing. They sing from the heart, resilient and determined. And the best part is, They'll be around for generations to come, but only if given proper stewardship. Supporting your local nature center is a fine start, as is just stopping to look and listen. <laughs>